Pollinators. The animals that pollinate our food. You might see them every day, but did you know these cute and adorable and even sometimes frightening creatures are in the threat of extinction? A pollinator pollinates plants. Pollinate how pla- how bees and other in- other pollinators pollinate plants is sometimes different. But I can show you how a bee pollinates a plant and how a butterfly pollinates a plant and there's and, and how a bat pollinates a plant. So first off, this is how a bee pollinates a plant. Okay, so first um here's your bee. Oh wait. Okay, so here's your bee. You know. Nice and happy bee. Sorry. Sorry if it looks bad. I suck at drawing on a mobile. Anyway, so. Here's your little bee, you know. Happy. Your little happy bee. Like, zoom, zoom, zoom. You know, you know. And then. Here's one flower, and here's another flower of the same species. So, the bee, he, so this bee, you know, this little happy little bee, he goes to this flower, and he gets the pollinate. He gets the pollen onto his little legs. So, we're gonna give him some pollen. Okay, so here's, here's a little pollen. Just the pollen, you know. There's the pollen, and then the bee goes to the next flower. And then when he does that, you know, some of the pollen might fall. Some of the pollen might fall. You know, over here. But most of the pollen will go into this other flower while the bee gets, you know, the other pop, the other flies pollen. Then he goes, you know, he goes to the next, the next flower and pollinates it, and then the next one, you know. That is how a bee pollinates a flower. Now, a, a, how a butterfly pollinates the flower, a flower is the same way as a bee. It gets the pollen all in its legs while drinking its nectar, and it flies to the next flower of the same species. How a bat pollinates a flower, however, is quite different. Long-nosed bats are the only flower, the only type of um, bat that pollinates flowers that I know of. So, what they do is they eat the pollen, and from eating it, they got the pollen on their head, you know. And then they go to the next flower and eat from that flower, and the pollen from the other flower gets into the other flower and so on and so forth and what pollination does to the flower is that it helps the flower and it makes the flower be able to breed and 
lay seeds and make seeds. So, without any bees, we would have no food because the food in the crops wouldn't have anything to help it make seeds. So, pollinators are very important. Now, if you don't know what a pollinator is, pollinators are a type of species, a type of group of animals. Those animals include birds, bats, bees, beetles, ladybugs, ma- moths, wasps, flies, and even more. Now, the problem is that all of these pollinators that make our food are dying. 29 to 45% of the world's population of pollinators die each year. And that is a very big number when you're talking about a species of animal. Sorry, group of animal. Scientists are trying to figure out what is causing this, and even with a long-running um, research with uh, with over eighty experts, uh, scientists involved, they have still can't figure out the main course of this problem. But they have figured out a couple things that are causing it, and in ways to prevent their ex- the. Pol- pollinators extinctions so you might be asking what are these ways and why are they dying first off a reason why they're dying is because of people not knowing that they're important and killing them that's why i need people to spread the this word and tell Everyone that pollinators are important. This people hurt, killing them because they don't know they're important. Might because they are scared of them or just for fun. Cause people are mean, you know. So yeah. But this is only one of many reasons. My little brother thinks that a reason is um, because of people throwing away things that they could recycle which i also think that might be also a case um another reason could be that um wait another (laughs) other reasons are overload because other reasons include increased overall pathogen loads Poor nutrition, which means they can't get enough food. Habitat loss from people destroying their habitat and the place that they live from for firewood, etc., etc. And pesticide exposure from people using pesticides on their lawns. Even at small doses of one of these things can can impact a bee's life and health. These impacts include expressed immune (laughs) response, which means they get more, like, they can't take um, good care of them. Their immune system can't fight off diseases normally. Shortened adult life cycles through their family. Improved memory and learning. Reduced social communication, which is a bad thing because bees are a social animal. So they need to be able to communicate through the other, through the, their colony. Reduced foraging efficiency. Disorientation. also affects their ability to forage for themselves in their colony. 
and gut microbe disruption, disruption, which is very bad. Because gut, what I just said, can lead to malnutrition or less food where they can't get any food in them because of it. Just this alone is very bad for the bees and is leading them to extinction. So, adding on to that, this and people killing them because they don't know that they are important is very, very bad. This is also the same for butterflies. Now, you might be thinking, this sounds very bad, but also it sounds like people with jobs are doing this. How are people like us supposed to stop it? Well, we can stop it by doing a lot of things. A couple of those things, you know, have common sense. <laughs> like banning really, really like bad and harmful pesticides, protecting a pollinator's health by preserving it in like, you know, beekeeping, habitat restore, so you just plant trees and yeah, they grow, and then a bee can live there. Ecological One moment, one moment, one moment. I'll be right back. Do, 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 because that keeps the wild population up. So, like, making sure no one hurts a Pacific colony. Ecological argue, 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 culture. Ecological agriculture. Ecological agriculture. Ecological agriculture. So yeah, that's how some ways that we can save bees. Thank you for listening. Real the outro or something. Story. Do 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 do. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do